Okay, here we go. We have a Coleman 16 by 8 foot power steel um, rectangular pool that I'm going to install. So this is where it all starts. So I'm just looking at the box here. and uh, So this is the uh, realistic woven rattan or wicker print design on this pool. Uh, picked it up from Canadian Tire. Cost about around a thousand dollars, and I think it's the last one that they had because I haven't seen any of them available for sale anywhere in southern Ontario at any of the stores here. So I think I lucked out. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the measurements, which is 16 by 8 foot or roughly 4.88 meters times 2.44 meters. So I'm going to go into my backyard now to my location where I plan on erecting this pool and uh, I'm gonna start measuring. Okay, so I'm back here now in my backyard. Uh, I've gone ahead and measured approximately where the pool is going to be. the stakes marking the lines all along the perimeter okay so the so the pool is 8 by 16 so 8 feet wide and 16 feet long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give two feet extra on the sides and the ends. So we can take that into consideration. The size of this box will be 12 by 20. So approximately from this point to this point is 12 feet. And from this point all the way To this point will be 20 feet. So I already have these uh, pavers dug into the ground here on one side next to my patio. So I'm going to be laying the feet on top of these pavers. So my job is a little bit easier. So I'm going to have to dig some pavers along this line here on the ends and as well on the sides here, on this side. So, and from here to here on this side, okay? All right, so the, uh, the next grueling task to do here is to uh, start tilling this ground, start removing this grass here and start leveling out this ground because as you can sort of tell probably from this angle here there's a bit of an angle there's probably a couple of degrees there sloping up this way so i'm gonna have to remove some ground from this side here to level it all out so that'll be the next task Okay, so just for the hell of it, I decided to also mark where the actual pool will be. So you can see the uh, outer perimeter, that'll, that'll be uh, dug out completely. And then you're gonna see the inside markers here and here, which uh, mark the side of the actual pool. So the other markers, um, is the uh, area that's going to be dug out or basically between the inside and the outside the legs will be standing on the patio pavers so you can see that the actual pool there's the marker there's 
other marker. And then these two. That's the actual pool size. Let's look at it from this side as well. So there's the outer markers, inside markers. Outer markers, inside markers. Okay, here we are again. We are checking how level this ground is here. So, I've got this 2x4 here uh, spread out and uh, a couple of levels, so we're going to check that. So this one here is fairly close to being level. Now how about this one? Also fairly close. So we got, we got a little bit to go here. Okie dokie here. So I have determined that we're going to need to take off from this side to get this completely level. Approximately, let's see here. at about four inches four inches and we have the bubble right in the middle of the eye there we go so four inches it is okay looking at it again it was actually more like three inches because I was looking at this bubble from the side and uh, it looked like it was in the middle, but it wasn't. So it's actually three inches that I need to get rid of. And then we have success. Oops, let's try that again. Success right there. Thank you. Got it. Three inches. Okay, so we're gonna need some uh, heavy duty uh, muscle for this uh, excavation project here. And that's gonna come in the form of this beast here. We have an Earthwise tiller. Uh -huh. 7.5 inch, 2.5 amp electric. And we're gonna be taking this puppy through its paces and see if uh, it'll tell that patch for us. So stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna start going here. Let's go. Okay, I have to admit, I feel like I'm uh, somewhat defeated here. Uh, I just spent about 30 minutes playing around with this tiller. Um, and uh, as you can see, the results are not staggering. This is uh, becoming A lot tougher than I thought it would be. Um, looks like this uh, tiller just doesn't have the beef needed to uh, tear apart this uh, lawn here. Once it gets to the, the dirt here, it starts working fairly well, but the tough part is the grass. And it doesn't seem to be getting through that very well. So yeah, back to the drawing board. Yeah, a big part of the problem here seems to be the fact that uh, these blades get clogged up very quickly with the grass. So once that happens, it doesn't 
have the teeth, literally, to uh, get through the grass anymore. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna have to get something a little heavier duty to tackle this job. So, stay tuned. All right, so I've come to step two here which is to have gone to Home Depot and rented one of these sod cutters. So let's see uh, how this uh, puppy does over here with the rather tough lawn that I was having a hard time with. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 